gathering the turtle. Is it turtle? <gasps> See, bothering the turtle. Now he's gone. You get him. Oh, there it is. How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii. The table. Okay. It's um March 30th, I think. I got a different watch face. It's March 30th, pretty much. <laughs> it, it's Holy Saturday is what it is. It's Holy Saturday, and we're going to do a little talk about Holy Saturday. Because it was kind of a confusing thing, in a sense, that, um, um, okay, uh, I'm Catholic, and used to go to church more often, like Sunday. <laughs> Got a confession. Oh, you missed your thoughts. Nobody did. Wait, in, in, in the Mass, there's where they do a, um, you know, the Eucharist bit, and the, um, there's a recital of the Creed, which is like kind of uh, what Catholics believe in a nutshell, and Nicene Creed. And in that part, it says, and Jesus died. You know, and it was they suffered and died. And they go through the Paschal mystery, which is like the um, Good Friday to Easter, you know. And uh, so he died and was resurrected. Okay, he suffered, died, and was buried. And then the third day he was resurrected, more or less. But they used to in have in there, and he suffered, died, and was buried. And he went to hell. Please stop. <laughs> for three days. So Jesus is in hell for three days. Like, wait, what? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Jesus went to hell for three days. So, um, that's. Heart attack. Heart attack. No, it's not. I it, want to leave. Okay. Okay. The ghost box is going freaking out now. Okay. They used to have in there that and and God. Jesus, God, oh gosh, Jesus died and was buried and descended into hell. He didn't like what go to hell. He descended into hell like on purpose, and this is called the harrowing of hell. I'm eternal. I'm eternal. Oh gosh. Okay, let me give me this. Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> let me get some. <laughs> this is getting worse. Let me get some context here. Every Saturday, okay, I go to the graveyard or the cemetery, Diamond Head Memorial. They don't even have like tombstones. It's like flat, big, long. My dad is uh, in kind of like the mausoleum thing, spaces for urns. Pathetic. For when the, you know, those people go. Help me. Oh gosh. Okay. So, um,. Yeah, so my mom likes to put flowers on the grave. Okay, yeah? And I help her go there and do that. But it's like every Saturday. So after a while, it's like, uh, <laughs> every Saturday I'm at the graveyard. And the flowers, when you put the flowers in the little things, the water gets stale. So you have to just take out the flowers and you have to dump that water. And you just, just don't put flowers in water and then leave it there and just go, okay, bye. Because the flowers wilt, and the water gets stale, and it smells like like dead tooth. It does have a rot, so you switch that out, or whatever. But they have these little buckets, and this is this is this is kind of I don't know. It's even a little creepy. This is one of those little buckets. You put water inside, and it, it, you go over there, and it kind of itches onto the. Thing. Well, um, here, 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 here's the thing. This one was broken. Okay, I didn't just go rip it off. I like, didn't give me one of them. It was broken, and so like they gotta throw this out because it can't hang on anything now. <laughs> but I just wanted to show. This is the 
the bucket, the flowers, and it has that kind of, um, it has that kind of, uh, you know, life is short, you know, uh, mortis memento, you know, remember death because life is short. And Lent starts off with, you know, uh, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, and now it has this. Rest in Jesus peace. Jesus goes to hell. What's the connection? Well, um, hell in the ancient, uh, well, not ancient. Oh, God. In Hebrew tradition and belief, it was kind of, you're alive, and if you're in God's favor, life is good. If something's going wrong in your life, you're not right with God. That was the idea. That's where you get the story of Job. <laughs> they were like, You must have did something wrong. See, the story of Job, I don't know, it could be a story more than, you know, history. So, the story of Job is more or less to show that bad things can happen to good people. That happens too. It's like a rabbi lesson that bad things can happen to good people. Keep the faith. <laughs> you know, kind of like that and because of the tradition was if you're not right with god then bad things happen like you're punished in life now this is ancient hebrew and then it starts to change with the job story and then it changes some more because the hebrew uh belief was that they didn't they didn't go for the afterlife they didn't have the heaven and hell kind of stuff it's just like eh, eh, when you did you did Actually, it wasn't the end all either because they believed in resurrection. So you're brought back from the dead. There is a belief in that because of an old Isaiah story where he, I don't know, something he died was tossed into the ditch. And in the ditch was a bunch of bones of old soldiers from an old battle. So it was an old battle and a bunch of bones of dead soldiers. Bones! And they, they threw Elisha, or Elisha, one of the two, they threw him into the ditch, and he, as, his, as he touched the, the bones, the bones came back to life. I'm, I mean, I'm not sure exactly, you know, all the way, or they were just skeleton army, I'm not sure. But it's a, it's a story of resurrection and um, the power of God to Please go. bring people back from the dead. So the Jewish people did believe have the resurrection, and then half of them believed it and half of them didn't. And you had the Sadducees and the Pharisees and stuff like that. Okay, so there's not it wasn't really a heaven and hell thing though. You know, um, they were just waiting for the end day with resurrection. Everyone just gets brought back to life, and it's all good. <laughs> Is this getting long? No. <laughs> so. Soul or Sheol was where people go after they die. Psychic. So Hades and Sheol, depending on the language, is the place of the dead, like necropolis for ancient Greeks. So people die and they their spirits or whatever their essence was in Sheol or Hades, which is translated nowadays to hell. <laughs> This is like, uh, it, hell was just a place where dead people went. And the, there was a place of punishment, Gehenna. So there's the damned go to Gehenna. It's burning fire, Gehenna, watch out. But hell was like just, you know, people that are dead <laughs> or shale. Depending on the translation, shale, Hades, hell. That's where dead people go. And <laughs> Gehenna was the damn thing. There was that. And by that time, because it kind of... Dime! Okay. And so, uh, there was a interesting theological um, uh, road bump where... Okay, Jesus comes into the picture, renews the covenant, so people can be forgiven and 
be a part of God and God's kingdom, because it reverses the fall from the Garden of Eden and Adam and Eve and the fall or death and suffering. Yeah, it reverses all of that. So Jesus is the new Adam, and uh, he, he can go be connected to God's kingdom all over again just by believing in Jesus and he suffered for us so we don't have to so that's a good deal so there's this new covenant of love instead of the law and so this new covenant is in place and wow lucky Jesus came by and suffered for us and did all that should be grateful for that yeah and he did that 2,000 years ago, about the year 33, I don't know. 33 AD. But here's the rub. What about everybody before that? What about before Jesus was there? So everyone didn't have the saving grace because when you're alive, you can choose to believe. But when you're dead, you know, game over. So you can't choose to pray, choose to believe because you're, you know, the dead. <laughs> it's like, when you have too much time to do that. So, uh, what about the people who died? There could should have been righteous people, people deserving of heaven, before Jesus came along. What about before? So, Jesus goes back down to Hades, or hell, go around sifting out through the dead for the righteous ones. Oh, see, because they had some big players like Elijah. Oh, oh no, he was, he went to heaven. Like Moses or something like that, right? Oh, Moses, what you doing in hell? <laughs> so, or, big players and maybe everybody who was righteous, you know, like deserving, like the good guys, the good people are, he, Jesus goes in there and says, hey, up this way and takes them out to salvation that's the harrowing of hell so i guess everyone else is just sitting there going huh? but later on you get that kind of thing where there's gehenna that's the real suffering hell and um sail shell and Hades, where people go, or just the dead people go, that turns into kind of purgatory. So purgatory is, I don't know if it, I, don't, I didn't research for it, you know, it, it's, the catechism book is really big and thick. <laughs> but going off of what Roman Catholic tradition speaks of, it's when everyone dies, the really bad ones who are going to hell, go to Gehenna. They go to the burden, suffering, damnation hell. It's a one-way ticket. Sorry, can't come back. And the rest of people wait for the judgment day and uh, get sifted out. The good ones and bad ones. And the final days and the, it's all kind of apocalypse where it's a, uh, the judgment day is actually a good one because um, good people get justly rewarded in judgment. For the judgment, if you're, if you're doing good and you think you're overlooked, you're going to get the reward on judgment day. So it's a, uh, you know, and, and, and the undeserving ones that are like messing up the, everything, yeah, you'll get yours too. So it's like a sifting, you know, like the last judgment day. So it's actually kind of a positive thing, you know, like you ever get wronged and you're God, I wish it was justice. <laughs> uh, so, so I gotta watch out because I accused the the nurses. I found my necklace. It was it fell off and fell into the ditch of my room, and it and I was thinking they stole it and they didn't steal it. It was me being a buffoon and losing it. So. Anyways, uh, uh, well, I guess we'll just go to um, the, 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 the paper chat real fast. <laughs> yeah. 
So the youth counselor, uh, oh gosh, when he was killed, he used to be a gang member and was eight pound um, drug debt. That's why the guy, the youth counselor, was uh, killed by a gang guy uh, years back. Heat waves move slower, study says. Um, it's heat waves moving slower. And, 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 uh, is, so just uh, welcome to the sauna. It's not Gehenna. <laughs> In uh, baseball news, because that's what's dominating the sports well actually the volleyball team is back and they're playing some games down here and they won their one that yesterday or friday which was um yeah against somebody <laughs> come outside come outside so they, they they played uh who did they play i don't know they beat whoever they played u.s santa barbara who whose banner is, reads differently let's see yeah, yeah, yeah. just relax what's going on Back in the day, 1950, when you relax, you just go up there and uh, drive around in your Jeep. <laughs> What's it? What's it? Oh, gosh. Oh, this is the road of Haleakala. That's the mountain of the sun on Maui. This is construction continues on this stretch of road. Might look desolate, but it sweeps through stretch of the flanks of Haleakala around the giant cinder cone known as Lua La I Lua. Lua Lai Lua Hill. Okay, but if you drive up this road now, there's like mop, there's like there's a certain there's clouds right here, and you're driving into the clouds and above the clouds, and then it's so high that it's it's altitude and it's hard to breathe. It's Dave Martin. Okay, <laughs> little finger on the pulse, perhaps. Oh, fighting fascism in 19 for lifelong battle for democracy. Fighting fascism in 1944, and then <laughs> 2024. The fascism. Okay, she told you. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Okay, we're just gonna do it. Do it. It's, 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 it's the false banner. Santa Barbara's banner. Shouldn't be here. Shouldn't be here. Police need to put a stop to dangerous moped antics. We live off. Wailai and Cocoa Head Avenues in Kamioki at least once a night during the week and multiple client times on the weekends. We hear racing of mopeds up and down Wailai Avenue. What is it gonna take for the police to stop them? I've been in a crosswalk as they race through and I've seen them run red lights and stop signs doing wheelies. This is dangerous and people may fear that chasing them could harm the public at large but because the police refuse to do anything, the groups are getting larger and more brazen. It is time for the police to step up, get a task force, and get these people off our roads before we, the public, get hurt. Christine Petrov. I don't know. Kami Ki, talking in tutu voice. Thank you, Christine. That's nice to be talking in tutu voice. That's just really cool. I mean, that's just like the thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen the motorcycles they do wheelies at nighttime. I drive to the Strix Fair on Sunday. This is right by Alamoana Shopping Center. Big, many lanes. And then there's a good guy. Who, and it's curvy, too. And it's multiple lanes. And it's running down with a, on a wheelie on one wheel. It's like like dirt bike type of stuff. Anyways. Harrowing of hell. Thanks for watching. Uh, if we get this going, okay, where is, where is this thing? Okay, okay, aloha. It's, it's Saturday, that's all. Yeah, okay, that's nice. Look at that. It's, uh, it's getting better, it's uh, nice now, I guess.